Good evening, everyone. Um, so today we have uh, this session, the future of Sitecore project management, um, uh, which is going to be taken by uh, Mustafa Hanafi. He is a uh, program manager at Konobos. So uh, Mustafa, please take forward. Thank you so much for, uh, you know, offering to present for us. So please take it forward. Thank you, Anandita, for the opportunity. And I am so happy to be on the Sitecore user group in India. It's uh, a huge time difference for me. <laughs> it, uh, I'm in Canada now. It's uh, seven thirty in the morning, so right after this, I am going back to bed for sure. <laughs> uh, so, um, um, I'm stuff the program manager at Conobos, as as Anandita said. Um, I work with our teams on Sitecore projects and other um, CMS implementations, and I've been in the field now for about six years um, managing Sitecore projects. And I am very excited to share my knowledge and my learnings with all of you today. So just before we start into uh, the details of the presentation, I'd like to start with why I chose this topic. And um, I, there is one theme that I want to highlight. Um, being a project manager in Sitecore for the past six years, I have seen successful and not very successful Sitecore implementations. And one thing that I can say is that the success of those uh, Sitecore projects um, heavily depend on the active involvement of all the team members on the project. So this is something um, while I present, I will keep highlighting because I believe that this is the the most important thing that you will get out of this presentation. <clears throat> so uh, when we talk about the site core in the headless world, um, we're mostly talking about moving from the site core XP traditional implementations into um, either one of two things, a headless implementation with JSS and, and Next.js, or we're going into using Content Hub uh, as the platform for content delivery, and again, with Next.js uh, on the front end. Um, so what does this really mean for project management, and how does it change how project management works? Um, there are three main things that I want to highlight in terms of, of this new change. One is the new tech stack. So obviously, we are working now with a new architecture, new technology, um, some new um, tools that are coming in uh, the mix right now that we didn't have before. And this means, and we'll talk about this in a few minutes, uh, that project managers and the project teams need to adopt a new mindset on how they learn this new tech stack to be able to deliver the new implementations. The other one is the new skill sets. Again, when we look at the new architecture and, and the new world of, of headless CMS, we will find that different skill sets are now needed. So um, this might mean that project managers will need to bring in new people in their traditional teams or the existing resources uh, and team members would need to expand on their skill sets to be able to accommodate how they implement the new projects. Um, now, the third point is, is for me, the most um, interesting and, and uh, probably complicated one, which is the new content management experience. And this means that when we move into this concept of being able to deliver across different platforms and devices, uh, we need to think differently on how we do our content strategy, our content modeling, uh, versus the traditional way where we did content. So again, for project managers, this means that um, there is definitely going to be changes on how they deal with uh, their clients, uh, their content teams, and how they come up with this strategy that fits this new uh, world of, of headless CMS. Um, now, this is where we talk into uh, more depth about now we understand the new architecture, we understand the new changes, 
now what do we really do about it as project managers and as project teams and as i said at the beginning of of my presentation that we need to be working together um i do recognize the fact that most of the sitecore user groups are attended by development teams um, and this is why i want the development teams to appreciate what changes in project management and what do they do about it um, now that they understand this change. So the first thing for project managers and the project team members um, is to lead and not manage. And leadership can come from the the higher up uh, management level, but also uh, it, it shouldn't be just a one-way street flowing down to employees and team members, but leadership should also be originating from, from the team members collaboratively together. And what I mean by this is whenever there is a change coming into a team, the traditional management concepts are not going to work because mainly there are so many changes and uncertainties um, that even project managers do not have the skills or the tools to move their teams towards this new change. So what they need to do is lead, and, and one of the main things that they need to do is actually lead by example, which means that they themselves, the PMs, need to learn the new headless CMS world, need to understand the opportunities, the limitations, and not be shy to ask questions and encourage their teams to always be learning. Um, so this particularly uh, becomes important um, in a consulting area as well, where um, project managers have to deal with clients as well and, and be able to educate clients about the change um, that is happening. So not just as an internal leadership, but also to be able to move the client's teams um, into the proper way of how we implement the new headless CMS. Um, the other thing is to adopt a new project management mindset. So as I said, the traditional ways um, of managing a project will definitely change. And we have been seeing this in, in two main areas of project management, which is the estimation. And then after the estimation, when we go into the planning and execution. So for the estimation, there are some new pieces that come in the mix that weren't there before and project managers need to start um, accounting for these. Uh, some of these um, would include content modeling, for example, or the uh, heavy lifting that would be required on the front end versus the back end, um, which we'll talk about in a minute. Uh, but also there are some pieces that do no longer exist then project managers need to be aware of. Um, for example, the changes in DevOps and, and the deployments and all of these stuff now change and some of them become faster, some of them become out of the box and some of them require uh, more um, development time. So this is why estimation uh, becomes critical in the new headless CMS world. Um, when we talk about planning and execution, one main thing I'd like to highlight here is how we decouple front end development from the uh, rest of the development. So we've been doing that um, similarly or slightly with uh, Sitecore SXA, but this is now even um, a bigger change where we really move away front end from the rest of development and we don't really need to uh, start the projects with the uh, the concept of starting on the back end development the front end and then the integration uh, now we can pretty much go right into the content modeling and start to execute on the content modeling while front end development is decoupled from that. And there are so many different ways where we can have front end streamlined so that 
we don't actually wait for any uh, content modeling or creation at all. And once we have the front end completed, then using APIs, we can quickly um, pretty much have our uh, site up and running in a few weeks. So when we talk about executing uh, a Sitecore headless implementation, um, there are different ways and new ways that project managers need to start thinking of and be able to um, come up with their project timelines and plans uh, a bit different than before. So as I said, content modeling is definitely something um, the project managers should be focusing their first few sprints at least on and be able to push the the development or the implementation forward. And this means that we can have faster QA, faster UAT, and clients or end users can actually start to see websites in a much better or ready state than before where we sometimes had to wait for months before we can actually present something to the end users or the clients. So um, just to finalize with, again, the main theme of um, collaboration, right? So all of the points that I mentioned uh, are not just on project managers. This is definitely a collaborative effort for all of the team members, um, project managers, testers, business analysts, solution architects, and of course, and the most important part is, is the development team. And to be able to understand how managing a project or leading a project changes. Uh, this will allow every team member to really appreciate the importance of working together towards implementing the new um, Sitecore Headless CMS. And I will stop there. Um, I'm hoping that uh, this was beneficial for everyone. And I will now see if you guys have any questions.